Hey guys, how we doing? Today I am on the T-Bar Row and I've got to admit it is great to be back using this machine. It is one of my favourites. The unique design of this bit of kit makes it um, a bit of a standout when it comes to back training in my opinion. Um, so when we look at most machines, whether we're horizontally or vertically pulling, the exercise is generally getting harder as the muscle gets shorter and weaker. Here, as I pull the weight towards me and I'm naturally getting a little bit weaker, the weight is actually tapering off slightly. So it creates this much smoother, constant flow of more tension throughout the range of motion, which in my opinion, just gives me the opportunity to really contract the tissue properly in that squeeze position and spend some time there. Another great benefit of the T-Bar Row is just the natural bracing capabilities in setup. Uh, gravity's pushing down on me, so I'm able to create good stability with the torso support and the floor, uh, which gives me a good base of support to work off. I always think of myself here as kind of like at the top of the 45 degree back extension, so I'm holding a bit of tension in my quads, hamstrings, glutes, uh, erectors are involved. They're all contributing to that stability that I'm after to just then concentrate purely on the movement itself, the muscle contraction, and getting as much work done as possible. Today I did a total of five sets on the T by row. I would consider the first two warm up sets. Um, just really concentrating on that squeeze position and getting it nice and short, getting it locked in. And there I did two further sets. It was really just primer, primer sets, priming the nervous system for one all out set, which is, which is on the video today. So on the all out set, I was combining two methods. Um, Firstly, I was using a drop set method, but then also in between drops, I was using a contrast tempo. So you'll notice on the first round, if you go back on the video, um, all I was concentrating on was a strong, fast pull and no real locking in at the top. And then I switched it to uh, using a tempo of probably 2010, and then the tempo changed to 2012, maybe even three on a couple of reps. Once I dropped the, the weight about 20%, um, and on those squeezes, it's all about just pulling, not too aggressively, because we don't want to throw the weight or create any momentum, but we're getting that nice lock-in and really feeling like that's the, the tension coming on slowly through the pull into a really strong squeeze at the top. Then that method was pretty much just repeated with 10 to 15 seconds between rest. Um, from memory, I don't think I needed to drop the weight down again after the strong squeezes, just went back into concentrating on pulling faster from the bottom and working that sort of like lower to mid range a little more. Delts love density. If there's only one thing to take away from this video, it's that we want to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time when it comes to training the delts a lot of the time. I think there's enough videos online these days on the upper arm and elbow position when it comes to what tissue we're targeting when we're doing when we're back training. So I'll leave this video there, guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great 2022.